Hey everybody, this is Mad Matt Carter. Thank you so much for watching the AIWF Network YouTube channel as well as the AIWF Ringside Wrestling channel. If you like what you see, please do us a big favor. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications every time we post new videos on both our channels. It means a lot to us and thanks a lot for watching once again. Content underway. This first contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Who is, who is that handsome young man coming to? Well, that is Danger C. Corey Etzel. Yeah, Minus ladies and gentlemen, introducing and first, no making their way to the ring. First, weighing in tonight at 424 pounds from Silicon Valley, Mecca Mercenary. He is tag team partner, weighs in tonight at 324 pounds from Greensboro, North Carolina. Dangerous E, Corey Edsel. Corey Edsel, too busy jawing with the fans. You know it's got to be killing him not seeing that new belt on Justin just now. Oh, well, he should have sure. been. He thinks it should have been his. Yeah, you're exactly right. But he was too busy the last time they competed talking to voices, so he kind of got a little distracted. That kind of looks like Fred Flintstone. Yeah, this Mountaineer crowd, they uh, certainly do not like Corey Etzel. They don't like Mecca by association, but uh, Corey Etzel just gets under the skin of this Mountaineer crowd. You're exactly and I can't blame right. him one bit. You're exactly right. But now, the exact oh. opposite. That's right. When these guys come out, THC, the higher calling. And there he is, folks, your AIWF Mid-Atlantic Cruiserweight Champion. Yeah, Mr. Etzel don't like that either. No, he does there. not. He told, he told the people to, to not wave their hands in the air. That's not that they weren't going to do it anyway, but that's going to make them want to do it even more. You got that right, Brian. And uh, as you see, uh, company. And their opponents are accompanied to the ring by J.T. Moss. They represent THC. The higher calling. First, weighing in tonight at 165 pounds from Silver City, Metallica. His tag team partner is the reigning AIWF Mid Atlantic Cruiserweight Champion. He weighs in tonight at three large dogs from the highest point in North Carolina. Buddy Flowers! Yeah, Brian, there's definitely a weight advantage between the teams right here. There certainly is. Uh, however, anybody uh, just uh, just watching there this who've uh, never seen AIWF Mid-Atlantic. Why are you wearing jackets at 70 degrees out? You're so stupid, you're cold in the summer. Just like all these dumb people who go, oh, you're the 
the worst member of Metallica, pal. Talk about animosity. Oh, it's so bad. Corey Hessel can't stop running his mouth enough for this matchup to get started. You got that right. It may come back to bite him. Like I was saying, you know, anybody just just watching AIWF Mid-Atlantic for the first time who have never seen uh, THC wrestle before may think that uh, that uh, uh, Mecca Mercenary and Corey Essel are going to make quick work out of these two smaller guys. However, uh, both of these uh, both of these guys, while they may be smaller than their opponents, they have a lot of speed, a lot of agility. And, and a lot of strength for their size. I mean, the, these yeah. two guys definitely have the, the uh, size and strength advantage, but. Uh, but, but you know, but Buddy Flowers has put on some of the best matches in AIWF in the last year and a half that we've seen here. And he's proven himself against all comers, big or small. That's why he's got that cruiserweight title right now. Yeah, you're exactly he's not a right. Quitter. We'd have to be high to put up with him. <laughs> well, again, Corey Etzel. Corey Etzel. It's, uh, looks like he's reluctant to get this match started. Maybe he's, uh, maybe he had enough of Buddy Flowers in their last confrontation. You know, Buddy Flowers uh, came within a few seconds several times in that matchup of defeating Corey Etzel, the, you know, the opponent that, uh, Probably outweighs him close to, you know, 80, maybe even close to 100 pounds. Now, that wasn't right, grabbing him another man's materials right there. You know, speaking of high right now, he must be high because the way he's acting. I'm wondering if he's still hearing those voices in his head that he was the last time he was here. Yeah, you're exactly right. Yeah, Corey Etzel is a very uh, unstable individual. He is a uh, very sadistic man and completely off balance. Yeah, that he is. You know, wrestling fans, we're going to take this minute. We almost forgot. Welcome you again to Extreme Content 2024. Bob Dalton here along with Hall of Famers Brian Danzig and later on Sergeant Stryker. And glad to have you with us tonight. Yeah, we certainly are. And this is going to be a wild night, starting off with a wild matchup. And there again, <laughs> Buddy Flower. Oh, and the, having the hat uh, really worked against uh, Corey Etzel. Corey Etzel trying to uh, steal JT Moss's hat to, uh, to get a psycholog psychological advantage, but it backfired big time on him. Buddy Flowers used the hat against him, rubbing it in his face. Oh, nice move there. Buddy Flowers again using his quickness. Yeah, he did not he did not power. Of course, he did not power the bigger, stronger man into that corner. He simply whipped around and used his uh, speed advantage. And Corey Etzel is livid right now. And right now, I think Etzel's trying to play a lot of mind games right there. He is trying well, to throw his team the team off. You know, normally I would say that Corey Etzel is playing mind games. However, to me, I mean, may, maybe he's fooling me too, but it looks like he's actually getting frustrated. Hey, Reagan, I want him tested for more than marijuana. I believe him, Metallica, and JT are all on steroids. Steroids, you gotta be kidding. Now, I can, now I can assure We'll keep it on the honor system for tonight. I can assure you, if we tested THC, anything in their system is not a performing enhancement drug. I can assure you of that. That's right. I'm Maybe. not saying that it would come back clean. No. I'm saying there would be no performance enhancing uh, substances uh, exactly. in their systems. The only thing they're going to find in their system is a little bit of Roman red. Mm -hmm. and that's You're about exactly it. That's right. Now what's Corey doing? Apparently he Corey must have a contact buzz, and he must be hungry. But he's again, got the tongs. Corey, he's been outside at the trailer. He's acting weird tonight. Corey, 
Or he, he's got this poor rat all confused. He just showed him one hand, Red. Yeah. He still has one hand behind his back. He should have both of them in front of him. Oh, taking cheap shots. Oh, oh my God. Ouch. She's just tonging Buddy Flowers. Oh. Talking about shish kebab. Oh. JT Moss. Is, is furious right now. Yeah, he's very ticked. But now JT does not need to get involved in this matchup. One, he's going to get his team disqualified. And two, he has a he has a Mid-Atlantic TV Championship match coming up next. He does not need to be uh, uh, getting involved in a fight with uh, Corey Etzel right now. He needs to concentrate on his, oppo on his, uh, his opponent coming exactly. up in this next match, Mickey, Mickey Fault. And now Edsel's got his glasses on. He's mocking him even more. I'll tell you, when you stoke a bear, the bear's going to about get you. And right now, Edsel is stoking J.T. Moss, and he's going to get him. And uh, unfortunately, whether you like it or not, I think the referee did make the right call uh, by uh, – ejecting JT Moss. We can't be biased and uh, want them to eject our, uh, the ones we don't like and then, uh, and then uh, call foul when they uh, eject the ones that we do like. Yeah, now look at him. He's just making a mockery out of Moss. Well, he With probably- those glasses, he can't see where well, he's going. Well, yeah, because it, those, yeah. those are prescription glasses. He's, his depth perception is all messed up. Well, at least now he's uh, giving up the- uh, Yeah. He's giving up the glasses finally. Well, maybe that's why Miles has a little THC because he may have a little glaucoma. Yeah, that's true. You know, that, we don't know. I'm glad Corey finally let go of those. Uh, those prescription glasses aren't cheap. Oh, nice maneuver. And right again, there. Flowers doing the right thing by using his strength. About, I'm sorry, not using his strength, but using his speed. Yeah, you know, he didn't. He didn't try oh. to uh, power Corey Etzel into that. Oh no! <laughs> he tagged Mecca. All right, he yeah. tagged him upside the head. That's right. Flowers has that. Uh, oh, oh <laughs> Buddy Flowers well, just floral. sent Corey Etzel into his corner, and he just collided with his tag team partner. That's right, it was. Is there a little bit of dissension? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame yeah. Mick Mercenary for being upset with Corey. That's, that's two times he's, uh, he's gotten hit by him. Uh, that's I'm right. sure it was by accident. However, uh, there's only so many accidents oh. you can have before you start questioning it. Yeah, because it's going to eventually catch up with him. Uh -oh. oh, splash turned into a hook. Looks like uh, Corey finally caught him, and uh, uh -oh. Buddy Flowers oh. is in the wrong part of town right oh, now. Oh, Buddy's lucky he's got any ribs left after that smash. Looks like Corey Etzel's finally finally done playing, and uh, and they are they're getting ready to fight. Oh, but uh, Flowers still has fight in him. Smartly making the tag to Metallico, the fresh man in this matchup. That's right, going, going after Mecca's knees right there. He is, however, Mecca's doing a good job of. Oh, right across well, the side. Well, I was going to say head. he was doing a good job of uh, deflecting those knees. Quick tags in and out. That's what they need to do. That's right. Double teaming the big man. That's what they've got to do. Rolling. They've got that five count oh. in order to get that done. Flowers up and over. Oh, nice kick, kick again there by Metallico. And again, that's what these guys, beautiful oh, move, oh, however, caught, him. caught by Mecha Mercenary. Oh. oh, big choke slam. That was a beautiful springboard yes, by was. Buddy Flowers. However, it uh, worked against him. This could be it right here. Oh, just missed Very it. close. 
Yeah, I'll tell you what, the smaller guys are giving these big guys a run for tonight. Oh, yeah, Buddy Flowers, he has a lot of heart and determination. Oh, sh uh, shoulder block. But, uh, and you know, he's, he's got a lot of in-ring ability, too. It's not just heart, he has ability, he has speed and quickness. However, all those things can only get you so far when your opponent uh, outweighs you by that much. It's, uh, it's, it's certainly not an impossibility. We've seen it before. We've seen the uh, David versus Goliath matches where, where the, uh, the smaller man has come out on top. This wouldn't be the first time that it happened in wrestling and it wouldn't be the last. That's right, it could happen here in a little bit. Oh, oh my God. And I tell you, those, those thudding chops like that that don't make the, uh, the loud smack, Ooh. sometimes it's like you can feel, you can hear that thud that's just going right through his chest. Ow, honey, hush. And but you and can see flowers, it. You can see, you can see the red on Flowers' chest already. Oh. oh, knee to the midsection right there. Yeah, Buddy trying trying to go blow for blow with the uh, with the man uh, that much bigger than him. It's just not a good idea. Oh, oh. my goodness, this is not going to be pretty. Oh. I tell you what, Buddy couldn't have much breath left. He's no. out. Oh, still, what? Still, my goodness, Flowers not only kicked out but kicked out onto his stomach. It's a very smart move there. Beautiful corkscrew huh. elbow by Corey. That's the shades of Buddy Landale. And just a two count. I tell you, Corey's pretty agile for a guy his size. He is. He is I, a. He is a. Uh oh. Took a little oh. too much time there. I hope Flowers. I held the ring up. Up to the top. Beautiful high cross body. Oh, again. Catches Corey Essel off guard. However, Essel just threw him off of it. He didn't kick out. He he grabbed Buddy Flowers and, and threw him off of it. And Essel doing the right thing. They better check. They better check that ring One after this. Left in this matchup, we may see a time limit draw. However, I'm being told that's actually uh, that was a uh, that was a technical mistake. This match uh, uh, does not have a 20-minute oh. time limit. You know that Boston Crab right there has oh. got to hurt that back of Buddy. What he's went through already, all that pressure on him he has got to be in excruciating pain right now he does uh, however one of the one of the good things is because of the size of mecca he is unable to squat down uh, if he if he squatted down he would uh, you know, he, he has such a low center of gravity he would just fall over however he's just using the strength of his arm and which is which is enough to uh, to make a man submit. Point Goyette will take it right there. You're right. My oh. goodness. He is just laying into Buddy Flowers. Buddy Flowers, he is, both he and Metallico have put up a really good fight in this matchup. However, um, it looks like uh, it looks like Edsel Mecca had this well underhand right now. But, but oh, no. Mecca waited Flowers. too long. Flowers gets out of the way. Oh, big Isaguri. But Flowers, he exerted a lot of energy by big. doing that. Yeah, and because big. of that, he's having a really hard time. Pushes Etzel off. Oh. And makes the tag to Metallico. Metallico, oh, big forearm. Ready. Another. <laughs> Duck. Nice spin kick by Metallico. Yeah, he's got he needs, the big man rocked. He needs to keep on him. Oh, he got him. Uh oh. Corey back However, on his feet. However, now. Corey and again, Corey and uh, Mecca had this match. Oh. Oh. 
just like that. Big clothesline by Ed, so this could be it right here. And Metallico's definitely dazed and confused no. up there. Metallico moved out of the way. Duck the clothesline. Goes for the sunset flip. Grabs, grabs Mecca. Oh, what uh, a save by Flowers. Big kick. Oh. One, could be. two, three. Wow. No, they did it. They did it. Yeah. THC. Here are your winners. Metallica and Buddy Flowers. The higher calling, THC. That's right. They Excellent. took a hell of a beating. But they got there it. you have it. You know, they got to be one the of the All the naysayers, everybody said that this match, that there was no way that these two smaller guys were going to, able, were going to be able to beat uh, Mecca and Corey. You ain't a kid. But there they are, the winners. Again, beaten, battered, and bruised. But there you have it. Yeah. And you know, the that's winners got of the first match. Of extreme content. And you know, it's got to put them at the top of the tag team division right now. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh oh. Now, what's yeah, going this, on here in the yeah, ring? This match, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have any uh, uh, official, um, uh, official uh, uh, rankings or, or, or anything like that, or uh, consequences as far as the winners and losers. However, uh, uh, announced earlier today that the uh, the current or well, the former uh, AIWF Mid Atlantic champions were stripped of the titles because they were uh, unable to defend it because of the uh, help of Buddy Flowers. But uh, the fact that uh, uh, Flowers and uh, that Buddy Flowers and uh, and Metallica were able to beat such a formidable tag team that's going to put them up in the rankings for the AIWF Mid Atlantic Championship. That's right. The There's going to be some big teams coming after those titles. It's definitely going to be hot in the tag division. But I don't know what's going on here between Mecca and Netzel. All right, here we go. First championship match of the night. I'm kind of really unsure still the stipulation. It was supposed to be a, it was supposed to be a tables match, but all our tables are broken. And they said... Well, it should be a doors match. First person through, that puts their opponent through a door wins. But our wrestlers have broken all the doors. So now it's a boards match. It works the same. First person to put the opponent through a board wins the match and the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Television Championship. So in that case, the following is a boards match. It is scheduled for the pers first person to put their opponent through a board. And it is for the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Championship. Sarge, I got so excited. I forgot I was calling this match with you. How are the fans an apology for that right there? Uh, well, tell this, you what, this is going to be a humdinger right here. Yes, it is. It's going to be a real humdinger of a match right here. You got JT Moss and Mickey Falk. Going one on one right here. And you know, Moss is already ill right now after what happened a while ago. You know, it's got to put roll over on this match. Yeah, you're exactly right. And he can't let that frustration come out and get the best of him because he got ejected a while ago. He's got to put that behind him and right. concentrate on what's in front of him, which is Mickey Ford. Introducing first the challenger. He represents the higher calling, THC. He weighs in tonight at 320 pounds from the Homeowners Association, J.T. Moss. Yeah, you know it's right. But now here comes the one and only. 
Well, it used to be called the uh, Stoke County Redneck. Well, he done moved out of there now, so. Nevertheless, he still got a pissy ass attitude. He still don't. He ain't, still ain't changed. But he still has oh, Seth Burns with him. All right, all right. Here we go. Now, this is getting ready to get good because I can say what I want. So, this ain't gonna be good. introducing the champion. How you doing, boss? He is from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The home of great wrestlers. I'm not going to finish it this time because there are people watching. He is one bad mother. Hey, 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 you can't say that still. He's, He's one bad MF. -er. Mickey Fulp is for the kids. He is your AIWF Mid-Atlantic Television Champion. He is Mickey Fulp. Now maybe he'll shut up for a minute. Mickey Fulp is accompanied to the ring by his manager, trainer, and advisor. Seth Clayton Burns. Seth Clayton Burns there. But, I mean, I don't know. Right now, in the mind of JT Moss, he's looking to release some of that, some of that frustration from being ejected. But like I said earlier, He's got to be careful and not let it get to his head, Bobby. That's right. He's got to concentrate just on Mickey himself and forget about the past. Take care of that later. But right now, worry about being the new champion, yeah, which is not an easy task either. No, it's not. It's definitely not an easy task. I mean, it's not an easy task to become any kind of champion here in the AIWF Mid-Atlantic because you become a champion for one reason. That's right. So... When you're good enough to beat the champion, like Ric Flair used to say, to quote him, to be the man, you got to beat the man. And right now, Mickey Fulp don't have to beat JT Moss. No. JT Moss has got to beat Mickey Fulp. He wants important. to win that AIWF Men Atlantic Television title. But also, Sarge, don't forget who they're gunning for. The one only AIWF world television champion, Mr. Kevin Phoenix. Yeah, you're exactly right. He, he, he's gunning for that. And, and who wouldn't be? True. Who wouldn't be? I mean, I know uh, Mr. Kevin Phoenix hasn't been around for a while. He's been absent for a while due to two, uh, two other things. But if he could continue to hold on to that AIWF world television title, He's getting ready to go on a big European tour here not too long, I think. And uh, he'll be taking that AIWF World Television title on a European tour. And be repping and representing us real well, I will say that. Yeah, you're oh. exactly right. But right here, we got a good match brewing oh, he, he between JT Moss ball. and Mickey Fulk. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that Burns, he just... I know he's a good manager, but he irks me sometimes. Last week, he was trying to grab the microphone out of my hand and just being disrespectful. However, yeah. he, his cockiness, if he's not careful, will come back to get him one day. He needs to focus on his guys instead of everything else. Yeah, that he does. I mean, he really don't have no business coming over here trying to intrude with commentary or ring announcing or nothing like that. Although he does his own special ring announcements for his guys. But That's right. Sometimes you just got to take it for what it is, Bobby. Well, I do. Oh, what a shot right there from Moss. Man, he's got a hard right hand, that's for sure. Oh, and a, hard, a that big elbow. 
Oh, he's got Mickey seeing stars. Braces, what a so a strength. He just picked him up and slung him all the way across the ring like a sack of taters. You got that right. We got him over there in the corner. Mickey's Pope's in a bad place right now. JT's got the champion rock. Mm -hmm. However, we've seen Mickey take a lot of punishment and come back. So, best yes, thing Moss can do is stay on him right now. Exactly. If he right. lets up, he may be in trouble. Yeah, he's got to stay on top of his game. He's got the champion right where he needs him. He just needs to go ahead and hurry up, put an end to it right here. Oh, and there it is. We could have, oh, he did not go for the pin. You should have went for the pin. Big guy, you had him right there. Oh, my, my, my apologies, Bobby. That's right, I forgot. This is a boards match. So pinfalls are are null and void at this point. That's right, but no rules either. You know, wrestling fans, not taking nothing from this match, but if you can see above the ring, that pretty pig right up there that everybody's gonna be shooting for later on, that's gonna be an interesting time. And yeah, I don't know if either one of these two are in that match or not. I haven't seen the list, but they need to save a little bit for that later if they are. Oh, but Moss is going right after Fulk, raking the eyes. Yeah, he's got that big, them big paws just wrapped around the face of Mickey Fulk. Man, his whole face in the palm of his hand. Just like a bear mauling the fish. That's right. And yeah, Mrs. Pickleworth, she's hanging high and proud up here, just waiting later tonight to see who's going to take her home for the chance to become whatever champion they want to become. That's right. Well, if you remember last year, that pig got tore in half yeah. from Fulp and the Jack. Yeah, exactly right. Speaking of Fulp, what in the world is he doing under the ring? Hey, what? I don't know if he's hiding or trying to find an object. I guess, I don't know if Mickey Fulp's hiding or or what. He's crawling around underneath the ring right here doing something. Oh, no, he ain't hiding. Uh oh. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, he got a kendo stick. Looks like Moss has got chairs. This is not going to be pretty right here. Yeah, this is going to get ugly real quick, but this is why they call it an extreme content, Bobby. Oh, that's right. They got to put somebody through the board. There's a board. Getting it all set up. And they're not joking, wrestling fans. There's no tables around here. They had broken them all over the last little bit. Seth Burr's just sitting down, sitting down in the chair over there, I guess, acting like he's trying to mind his own business and stay out of the way for JT Moss. Yep. Hmm. I don't know what he's sitting up JT there. JT don't want to talk like a man or an adult. Oh, Ow. gosh. Mickey Fork just come from behind with a cookie sheet. Oh, again. Ah, goodness, just fast. That's right. JT Moss right in the head. You know, people may think those cookie sheets don't hurt. Try it sometime. They hurt. Believe uh, me, I've been hit with them. They're no fun. No, they do hurt. And then as they get dented and everything, they, oh, oh. my God. But that's Gosh, right that's there. That's a big metal sign right there. Yeah. He's getting ready to take JT Moss to school. But yeah, the cookie sheets, they get them sharp edges on them as they bend and crumble. And mm -hmm. things will, them things will cut you up in a heartbeat. <coughs> I think Mickey's got bad intentions set up here. Yeah, this, could, this is not going to be this. This can't be good. Oh, oh, he's got Moss. I don't know what he's up to. This could be it right here if he puts him through it. I mean, Moss is 
He's trying to get the big man up, but it ain't going to happen. He's going to strain something right there. Uh, oh, and he sends Mickey oh. Bolt head first into the chair. Talking about karma. Seth Burns was just sitting in the chair that JT Moss was wanting to use. Now, and Burns, now he's playing mind games with JT. Oh. You're good, you're good. Yeah, right. It's hey, a good shot, though, right there. Old very, very good shot. Good right, thing I had a lid on my drink right there, or else <laughs> we'd be all yeah. covered in Pepsi. Yeah, it's true. At least it's safe over here. Seth out there posing for the camera. I think he forgot his air pump. Oh. Oh, low, what a just blatant like, low blow right there. And it's all legal here at Extreme right. Content. So is this kendo stick. Oh. Wow, oh, he just goodness me. gracious. Oh, wait a minute. I know certain parts of the world use those as form of punishment. Around here, it's just like an ever, like everyday thing. Yeah, and that's you a, know it's got hurt. That's a pain of punishment and torture. Uh -huh. My goodness gracious. <laughs> Looks like you got. He's beating Mickey like a red-headed stepchild. Yes, he is. Oh, he's, got the, he's got that boy. He's got it set up in the corner. Well, go take it to the other corner now. Bad idea. Oh! Another shot to the back from that metal. Metal paint. Another shot oh, to the head. head. Now he's just having his way. He going to need some uh, headache powders. And he's just literally. Uh-oh. He's just literally beating the brakes off the man with that pan. And he's just absorbing every minute of it. And the regular the eyes have stopped the moment. Oh, what a shot to the back. Uh, Ouch. That'll take a big man down. You ain't a kidding there. Oh, Burns, he's happy now out here. Oh, he's real happy. He's real happy right now. Yeah, he's over here getting in the face of a little girl right there. Even though I think that one could take him. Oh, no, he's oh, got another chair from the chair. outside. Out. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Oh, just raking it, Moss, right there. Yeah, he's just right in the face of Mickey Fulk right there. Now look at Seth Burr. Seth Burr showing his two cents. And Mickey Fulk giving the crowd a California howdy. That's right. Now always, always somebody out here when they compete. Burns is always the extra man. That's going to take somebody to come out here and equal him to have a fair fight against yeah. any of his guys. Yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, Seth Burns, he... Oh, and it backfired on Mickey Bull. Oh. JT sent him head first into the chair. Mickey Fultz in La La Land right now. He's just swinging at what up. Oh, JT got him set up. Is he going to do it? Big oh. choke slam right there. That's got to be oh, it. Oh, His head he almost He is down chair. for the count. If he would have hit the back of that chair with that head, he would have been out. All he had to do was pick Mickey Fork up and throw it through the table. He got it. Big boot. That's right. Mickey Fork has rocked. Why is he running to the board? You think that board's going to protect oh, him? Oh, that can't be good. That can't uh -oh. be good. Whoa, he moved out of the way. What's that bird going to do? Oh, Seth Burns into the board, but it didn't break. Oh, he bounced him off of it. It bounced him off. Seth Burns and all his 95 pounds off the whip. 
I he couldn't he bring it more. He gonna need some goodies right now. Seth Burns don't know where he's at. But JT Moss got Mickey Pope up. Oh, he tried to go for the toe slam. Oh. Uh oh. Moss better be careful. There's board behind him here. There he is. There is that board right there. Oh. Ow, right across the back. Uh oh. He's just, this may not be. This no, could not be this good. ain't good. He's hanging on. He's hanging on. Wow. Oh, oh my God. What? That counts. That he went through the table. That counts. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, here is your winner. Here is your winner. And still, AIWF. Mid-Atlantic Television Champion, Mickey Fop! You didn't say you had to land on all said you got to go. You could beat you him. Beat you him. weren't good enough. You got, all you had to do was break the table, put your opponent through a table. Well, unfortunately, JT Moss put himself through the table. That's right. That's the breaks, wrestling fans. But they, I mean, they just, there you go again. Another successful title defense and with our AIWF Mid-Atlantic Television Champion, Mickey Fulk, here at Extreme Content 2024, Bobby. Yep. here with no comparison Joe Harrison and the heathen berserker Ty Tyson. Gentlemen, we are moments away from what I would say is the most violent match we will see tonight. How are we feeling? We're excited. We're ready. For weeks, people have told us to be prepared. You never know what's going to happen. Well, Ty Tyson has taken it upon himself to train me, to teach me all the barbaric Viking way ah. how to torture people. Ain't that right, Ty? Joe, I could have said it better myself. Kaysen, Lane, I'm not gonna lie. You boys are talented, and you have a lot of potential, but understand, tonight, you are entering a world you've never been before. Tonight, you are playing on a field that you have never been on before. And I'm gonna steal this from Joe and say tonight, there is no comparison to the pain, the suffering, and violence that you're gonna feel. So Joe, we trained, we've talked, we've come up with a plan, and now it's time that we go in Casey and Lane. Ha! Good luck, gentlemen. Yes, Next up, we have that, the famous and they to throw a toolbox match. So wet man throw have you never it, seen one of these here in Fort Tree? Thing like a rubber it's ball. violent, and it's no telling what'll be inside those toolboxes. It's not usually just hammers and screwdrivers. Sometimes there's strange and unusual things in there. This one this year is going to be contested as a tag team tornado match, which means all four will be in the ring at the same time. The only way to win is pinfall or submission. Come dressed for a fight. They're in their street clothes. Uh, they, they're here for a fight. As Seth Burns 
come wobbling out here. Yeah, he's wobbling after he's I am an Iron team. Man. Yeah, I think that was a bad idea. You can't keep a good man North down. Park, and you can't we're keep a good now. set hey, down. Reggie, try. hold these ropes. I, we're moving on now. JT we're tried to put me through a board. Hold these ropes for me. Matches here in the AIWF. Thank you, Reggie. That was invented by the you can call me daddy later tonight. Great, Mr. Dangerous Don Carter. All right. Allow me to introduce to you the two men who's going to put an end to the two thorns in my side by putting two boots up their ass. And of course, I'm talking about that little bitch Joe Harrison and that man who, well, let's face it, his whole life is ran by the woman in the food truck and he can't even get it up anymore to please her. I present to you Pretty Boy Lane, the adrenaline junkie, Tyson Kane. Ty Tyson and Joe Harrison, come take your best shot because they are the trendsetter. Trendsetters are accompanied by their manager, trainer, and advisor, Seth Clayton Burns. Ty Joe Harrison gets out here. Okay, I will not deny that the Trendsetters are a great tag team. Well, because they're former AIWF Mid Atlantic Tag Team Champions. You exactly. Take, you cannot take that away from them. Nope, However, you cannot. However, this is a this is a whole new this is a whole new world right here. Yes. This is not a tag team wrestling match. No. This, it's a toolbox match, and like you were saying, made famous by the late great Don, Dangerous Don Carson. I know you and I both. We've had our tool back, toolbox matches in the past. Oh yeah. That was that was Don Carson's signature match, and uh, every year at Extreme Content, we we have a uh, a toolbox match, but uh, we have a new twist on it—a tag team, uh, a tag team toolbox Texas match. Texas Tornado Tag Team. Yeah, there's going to be no uh, tagging in and out, double team. Right. Somebody's out. just going to get to living. You know what kicked out of. You're exactly right. Chills every time I hear that me horn. Me too, me too. My goodness As soon as gracious. that man steps through that curtain, the roof is getting ready to come off this building. Oh, you Let's know see. it is. You know it is. That's why we say each and every time, we're glad you could join us here uh, on the AIWF Network. However, you have to come here. You have to experience AIWF Mid-Atlantic Live. You have to come and see it for yourself in person to get the full effect. Yeah, you're exactly right. There's nothing like being out here at AIWF Mid-Atlantic Live. Yes, you can watch it on our TVs. You can watch it on YouTube. You can watch it on whatever, but there's nothing else like Hold on, here. hold on. Tyson getting himself a drink. Allow me to introduce the opponents, the men who will lose to the trendsetters here tonight. From South Carolina, the second most popular Carolina, Average Joe Harrison, and wow, his opponent and his tag team partner. Now tell you what, if that's if that's not his put that enough, child down in this matchup, then nothing is. Hell yeah.
You cut the translator's music when I started talking. Qu cut his too. Reagan, I will come back there and I. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Allow me to do this right. Hey, hey. I'm trying tonight, okay? I'm trying. Hey, hey, go ahead, go ahead. Ty, I, I'm glad you came out here tonight because this is extreme content. And, you know, we're paying tribute to hardcore legends, guys like Terry Funk. So to quote Terry Funk, well, it's quite obvious your kids are bastards. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. But, but let's face it, there's something I learned a long time ago, and that's if there's something wrong with the pup, there's something wrong with the bitch. And Ty, we all know your wife's a whore! Oh my God. Oh you can just, yeah, you got him. Go get him. Go get him. I hope, I is, hope Mama Bear didn't just hear that. I tell you what. Um, um. Does, um it's, uh, and um, Joe Harrison's tag team friends. partner from Hava Navala, Havala, um, Ty Tyson. Looks yeah, like uh, Seth Clayton Burns has uh, realized he may have taken a little too far and uh, is regretting what he said. However, uh, there's no taking it back. You you said what you said and. Uh, you better hope. You, he better hope his boys. He got better hope his boys got a call. Because he's done boy, pissed off the wrong man right now. Yes, he has. But Ty Tyson, he was doing a good job. You could see his face getting a little tighter and a little tighter. But uh, he's keeping a good game face on. Oh, but you yeah. can tell that he's gonna he's gonna internalize all that junk that Seth Burns is talking, and uh, and he's gonna take it out on the trendsetters right oh, now. You, you're exactly right, Ty Talent. Ty Tyson's one nasty animal you don't want to mess with. They don't call him the heathen berserker for nothing because he's absolutely crazy. He will die in that ring if he has to. Yeah, you don't want to mess with Ty Tyson anyway, but you definitely don't want to make him mad by insulting his family. Exactly. He's a family man. Yes, he is a family man. And he Last is a you, honorable family man. You're exactly right. He cares about his family more than anything. And when Seth Clayton Burns comes out here and insults his family, you can insult him all you want. He's not gonna, you know, he's not gonna take it, but he's not, he's not, he's not gonna, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Yeah. If you start insulting his family, that's when you're taking it too far. And he's gonna run over. His plan is gonna be to lay out the trendsetters. Hey. And then once he does, he's gonna get his hands on Seth Clayton Burns. Hey, yeah, is that right? And here we go. We've got this match started. And the trendsetters, they did the right thing. They caught, you know, whether, whether you like it or not, uh, uh, Ty Tyson and Joe Harrison made the mistake of turning their back on their opponents, especially in a matchup like this. Yeah, you're yeah, like it right. They come and got them from behind, but it didn't take long for Ty Tyson and Joe Harrison to regain control of this match. No, it certainly did it. And, uh, Ty Tyson looks like he's already gonna. Uh, he's already looking into that toolbox, to trying to dig something out. Oh, uh, what does he got? Ty Tyson have, He has a hammer. Oh my God! He's got a claw hammer. Oh, oh my God! He just goodness just ran that he just, steel metal hammer into the head of Pretty Boy Lane. He just nailed him. He did. Pun intended. I'll Pun intended. Yes. Oh my God! He's got, oh, he got some scissors. Oh, but Pretty Boy Lane doing the uh, devious but smart thing. Now oh, he's got that hammer choking him. With That's not my favorite tag team. And again, like I said, you cannot take anything away from no, the trendsetters. You, no. They're 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 a uh, they're a great tag team, and they're and they're very tough individuals. However, I'm just uh, thinking, oh, uh, Brenda Boy, he's taking the scissors from Ty Tyson's head. 
Well, he's certainly not giving him a haircut. No, he's not. Ty and I, I think, got the same barber. But nevertheless, he was sitting there rubbing the blades of them scissors right across the tail of Ty Tyson. Yeah, he just, he just basically cut his head open with those scissors. My goodness. Out of all the things you grab out of that uh, toolbox, I don't know how, I don't know if the uh, well, little I, orange cone would be the uh, uh, would be the thing I chose. Well, not unless they're going to try to, well, I mean, you know, there's going to be a lot of blood out here. And some of these people, you don't know how they are. They might like to drink blood, you know, so they could just, like, funnel blood. Who knows? Yeah, you never know. <laughs> You never know what you're going to see in the toolbox, Matt. No, well, don't. you never know what you're going to see in the AIWF Mid-Atlantic, period. And there, and, and again, you can see where uh, where uh, Ty Tyson was lacerated by those scissors. Yeah, he's been busted wide open. Kane puts a chair in the ring. And Joe Harrison, he's in a pretty bad, pretty bad way right now. You got. You got Lane and Kane both. Oh, he's got a turnbuckle. Oh, my goodness. What? We've got a, uh, one of those uh, replacement turnbuckles that we have uh, in case one of the turnbuckles breaks. And you know, when we say, you know, you, 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 you hear that phrase, you know, when watching wrestling, head into the turnbuckle. Yeah, that's that's exactly what it is. It's a, you're putting them, uh, you're putting their head into that hook. Oh, and I just nailed Jason Kane. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't don't tell him you got something for him. Just give it to him. Exactly. You don't. You never tell your opponent that you got something for you. You're just giving it away. Harris but Ty Tyson, for some reason, has left the arena. Well, I'm sure he's got. I'm sure there's a reason. There's no telling what he's going to come back from through the curtain with. Joe Harrison. Oh, Joe coming out after Seth. Seth Burns. And he's hiding behind the referee. Like that cowardly little. Wait a minute. Oh, Tyson. my God. He has a toolbox of his own. Look at this toolbox. As if the one toolbox wasn't enough. Ty Tyson brought his own. He is he honoring the heathen, gods. He has a heathen toolbox. He is opening it up. Uh oh. Oh, he's got a leather strap. That's a tool of sorts. Oh, what a thud with that strap. My goodness. Oh. Right across the back of King. And Ty Tyson still bleeding from that from that wound from those scissors. Yeah, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to be careful. I, if you I don't know if you remember correctly or not, but back at Deal with a Steel War game several years ago, that it, it was Strike Force 19 versus Old school mafia, I believe, and Ty was a part of that. And him and Scrapyard Dog opened up the match. The late, great Scrapyard Dog, let me correct myself. And Ty lost a lot of blood in that match to where he had to be actually taken out of the match and replaced. Yeah, that's the thing. In, in these type of matches, they're very dangerous matches and you can see that Ty Tyson is uh, he's wobbly already from uh, from the loss of blood uh, Kane and uh, Harrison still in the oh lane. he just broke that wooden stick over the back of Joe Harrison Kane is calling for Lane nowhere to be seen I don't know what's going on outside but right now uh, we have we still have two competitors in this ring so we're going to concentrate on them right now. Yeah, guys, all we can do is concentrate. It looks like, looks like Lane and Ty are yeah. venturing outside somewhere. Uh, Case and Cornette there with the uh, uh, with the badminton racket. Oh, right across the back. Yeah, the shades of old Jimmy Cornette, the big loud mouth of the Midnight Express. I always loved him. Oh, yeah. Oh, big side 
Suplex. And he just dropped him right on, on his the back chair. on that chair. I'll tell you what. Come on, Joe. Casey Kane thinks that hurts now. It's going to hurt ten times more in the morning. When well, the there goes Pine Lane back in. When the adrenaline wears off and uh, – and, you, and you've had a chance, and your body has had a chance to settle, then uh, the, the pain is, is that much more excruciating. Oh, uh, you're exactly right, Brian. Uh, Ty, Ty's got laying over here, he's got a chair set up. You signed up for it. You allowed it. Oh! That's what to get. Oh, nice what a drop toe hole by Casey Lane. Drop tie right on his head in a chair. Makes the save for uh, for Casey Kane. This is just complete chaos right now. Yeah. Casey Kane calling from to uh, to get Joe Harrison in the ring. They want to they want to work him over and double team him, which is a smart strategy. It is because Ty's got, laid out right here in front of us. Yeah, Ty Tyson. He took. Uh, he, uh, his head smacked against that chair and against already against that uh, that wound, that big wound. You can see it op opening and closing yeah. on his head. With every with every wrinkle of the forehead, you can see that wound just open up and just goose more blood out. He's got to be careful. We go for the pin. This could be it. Oh, just a two count only. Two count only. You know, I've got to give it up to uh, the trendsetters. I was expecting uh, uh, Ty Tyson and Joe Harrison to fare much better in this matchup. I didn't. I wasn't expecting the trendsetters uh, as tough as they are. I wasn't expecting them to put up that much of a fight in this type of matchup. But I, I got to give it up to them. They they're giving it. They're giving it right back to uh, to Tyson and. Uh, oh, and Ty's got the hammer. And Harrison. Oh, and it runs it right into the midsection of both. My goodness. Yeah, you're right, Brian. I did not expect the transsetters to be able to come out here and do the things that they do that they've done to tie Joe Harrison right here. But it's like you said, you can't you become tag team champions for a reason. Because yeah. you're that good. You're exactly and they right. have been tag team champions. Oh my goodness gracious. They've got both trendsetters in one corner. Harrison. Joe's his time in. and a big splash in the corner. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are they doing now? What have they got? Uh-oh. Oh, looks like Ty's going bowling. Oh, no, uh -oh. Joe's going to go bowling. I hope he's worked on his 7-10 uh, split. You're exactly right. Oh, he got to line up. Oh, steer right. Or would you call that a gutter ball? Uh, well, that either a gutter ball both. or a strike, either a one. Both. Nevertheless, he hit his intended target. What does Seth Clayton what Burns Seth? think he's doing? Seth <laughs> Clayton Burns, what is he trying to... Is, is, is there a speck of dust on Ty Tyson's shirt or something? I mean, I guess he thought he might have had mosquitoes or something. Sw oh, he took a swing. Ty Tyson just nailed him. Ty Tyson just nailed Seth Clayton. Oh, they got him in the corner. Boom. My goodness. Seth Clayton Burns is out. He is glassy-eyed. He is in la-la land. Oh, Ty's going to go bowling now. We already got one strut. Oh, he's winding up. Twinkle toes. Steer right two. Are they going to go for a turkey? Uh, it could be. Oh, my goodness. And Joe just you slapped the bird. that man's wife a whore. Exactly. Big body slam by Ty on, on Pretty Boy Lane. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got this. He's got the staple gun. You know what's coming now. Oh, my God, what a tough. 
Meanwhile, we got a pin by Joe Harrison up here with two count only on Pretty Boy Lane. I know there's so much action going on. In you this can't call, It's hard to call it all, Brian. Yeah, we could have had a pin right there. We wouldn't have even known it. But Ty Tyson, he has that uh, staple gun. He got a couple dollar bills. Oh, you know what's coming? Oh yeah. I know all too well what's coming. I've, I've experienced this firsthand. And ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, it does not feel good. No, it does not. I have experienced it too, along with uh, Rick Diesel sticking a needle in the side of my neck, putting me to sleep one night. He stapled a dollar to my head, and then Rick Diesel stuck a needle in my neck, oh. put me to sleep. Okay, Low blow. making the save. Oh, my goodness. Saving pretty oh, no, lanes, pretty, pretty, boy, got the... pretty face. Oh, but now, now Casey Kane has this has the staple gun. Oh, oh my God! He just stapled that dollar right to the to head, head. Ty Tyson. And now, uh, and now, Pretty Boy Lane. Ah, uh, he stapled to the other side. They've stapled. Oh my goodness! They put two. Oh God! He's pulling the staples out. Joe Harrison. Good God. He's just arms. beating us. I'm going to say it one time. He's just beating the shit out of uh, Case and Kane. But there's a price to pay. Pretty Boy Lane got a camp. Referee Pretty Boy Lane got missing. He's not seeing referee, anything. Referee uh, Reggie was checking on Ty Tyson and didn't see the, uh, didn't see the pin attempt. Oh, my Joe God, Harrison. they just smacked Joe Harrison. And again, the trendsetters standing tall in this matchup. They just won't I go away. I didn't think I was uh, uh, going to be saying that too many times in this matchup, but we've seen it quite a few times. We may see, we may see these two actually uh, come out of this matchup, the winners. Uh, you, you're exactly right. I mean, they have really just beat Ty. And uh, Joe Harrison at their own game. I mean, Ty's one who set the stipulations for it to be in the toolbox match. And uh, evidently, the trendsetters have uh, done some research throughout the old AIWF archives and done a little bit of homework on how to be in one of these matches. And it shows that they've done uh -oh. their homework. Oh, no. Here, here comes the jumper cables. It's just a matter of time. This I is, saw them sticking out. This is one of my favorite parts whenever the toolbox match first came out. Don Carson. Uh -oh. He stuck it to Kool-Aid's nipples and drug him around the ring. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They got the battery cables hooked up. But wait, is there going to be a battery? Do they have a battery to electrify it? Oh, oh. my God. God. Oh, you have got to be. Goodness. Oh, my God. This, this has to be hit. LA. Two. Oh, no. Two count they only. kick out. Holy crap. I think the transcenters need to go down and check their tools, make sure they still got some. If not, they'll find them over there in the jumper cables. Yeah, there'll be uh, there won't be much celebrating tonight, win or lose, for the trendsetters tonight. No, I'll tell you that right you're now. You're exactly right. They're gonna they're gonna be uh, uh, settling in the hotel room with a big bag of ice. Oh with yeah. The, with the uh, uh, with the bowling ball and then the jumper cables. Those fellas, well, they'll be lucky they were they're able to have kids. Exactly, and I don't think Pretty Boy Lane gonna be doing any kind of pretty dancing anytime soon either. No, you're exactly right. You might be missing a little chunk. Wait a minute. What, what in the world? Wait a minute. What's Casey Kane doing Casey up on top Kane of the building? Has climbed on climbed on top of the of that of that uh, storage building. And that's not steady. It's no, no it's not and there's it's a, a very there's all old kinds building. of dangerous equipment up there. All three, all, all three of the other, other men. They might want to get them people out of the Oh, big suicide dive. 
off of the building, off of the storage room on all three men. He took out his his partner, but he also took out the other two. My goodness, the carnage just laid out. And there was a pinfall. A two count pinfall only, I believe. No pinfall. Two. No, they kick out. You got you have got to give it up to uh Case and Kane. That was an amazing maneuver that he did a very high risk maneuver very and, uh, high risk although it uh, it uh, didn't pay off however it may pay off in the long run because you now the trendsetters are, uh, are have this match completely in control right now Ty Tyson and Joe Harrison are in big trouble right now and they may not be able to recover from that maneuver uh, they might not looks like Joe and Lane was fight trading blows on the outside Joe's trying, trying to come back in. Oh, and he comes in and makes a save on Ty. And that's a good thing because Ty Tyson looked like he was getting ready to go out from that choke hold because he's yeah. already lost enough blood as it is, so he's already wobbly. If he, if he has lost all that blood and cuts off oxygen from by, by the choke, it's, it's going to make it that much harder for him. Yeah, Ty exactly Tyson, right. he's, got that, he's got that staple gun again. Are the trendsetters? Is Case and Kane finally? Is one of the trendsetters finally? Oh, it is! Got him! Oh! Oh my goodness! Case and Kane just got a bit of what Ty Tyson got. Oh, and it goes Birdie Boy Lane. I'm sure that's not the first time Case and Kane's been tipped a dollar, but I doubt it's ever been happened by stapling it to his head. <laughs> oh my! God. Oh, they just <laughs> shot a staple in Birdie Boy Lane's ass. My God! That's his, that's his good side. Yeah, that's his good side. He stapled, he stapled Casey Kane's face in Pretty Boy Lane's ass. Oh! Just a big old noggin knocker. And he still got that bill, still dollar, bill. dollar bill. Hey, a dollar bill is a dollar bill. Yeah, exactly right. Like I said, uh, Casey Kane, I think he's he's used to having those dollar bills uh, stuffed in, down into his trunks. He's not used to having them. Oh, oh nice and maneuver there by Lane. Big stun. Oh, and a oh. big kick by Joe Harrison. Two. 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 Oh, barely. My goodness, two Referee count Reggie, on. He, his hand was coming down for the three. He hey. had to pull his hand away. He just barely got it. Joe Harrison's got the jumping cables wrapped around pretty boy Lane's neck. Just taking the life out of him. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what we were talking about when we were saying extreme content is one of the wildest shows of the year. This is what we're talking about right here. The, the, the toolbox match is going to, the toolbox match along with the uh, money in the piggy bank match, those two matches are going to be the wildest that you are going to see all year long. Oh, and I'm looking forward to that money in the piggy bank ladder match. Yeah, because, you know, we're doing a little bit differently this year where we're starting it off with the Money in the Piggy Bank free-for-all, and then yep. when it's the last five... Uh, last five uh, standing, last yes. last five standing, it then becomes the ladder match. Yes. So you can't even go for the Piggy Bank until the last five men, uh, until the uh, last five men are left standing. Yeah, and that, I mean, that's going to that's gonna be hard. I wonder how many people you think is going to try to go up for it anyway. Yeah, you just never know. Well, it's not going to count, even if they No, did. it won't, but uh, that almost got a three count right there by Reggie. And again, the trendsetters are standing tall in this matchup. They Case have and the Kane advantage. choking the life out of the berserker. He's fading away. They're they are doing a very good strategy. They've been, they've been putting several choke holds on Ty Tyson. And oh, and now it goes after Joe Harrison. I'm not sure exactly what Casey Kane was thinking right there. He had Ty Tyson down. He should have. He well, should have. Well, what he wanted to do though is uh, he, he wanted to double team Joe Harrison. Well, he I mean, he him. had Ty down though. He should have chucked him out. He could have won a match right there for the trendsetters. Well, the missing Joe Harrison was out of the well, way. The thing is, I think I think Ty Tyson incapacitated enough to where they could double team Joe Harrison. However, I don't think he's out enough to pin yet. No, oh my goodness, I, uh -oh. is that what so I think got, it is? They've got a bag of something. He's getting ready to empty it out. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. The thumbtacks. The infamous thumbtacks. And the thing about thumbtacks, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a weekend hard right here, I know you've already seen a lot of stuff, but right here, if you don't like stuff like this, turn your head now. Yeah, this is a this is a gruesome thing. It is uh Well maybe not. Joe's trying to fight it. Well it's like I said though, sometimes you uh, if you live by the thumbtack, you die by the thumbtack. Just because you're the one who poured them out on the mat doesn't mean you're going to be the one using them. Exactly right. Sometimes they end up getting used on you. Uh, yep. I mean, karma However, works that way sometimes. But they got Joe stood up. No. Oh, Ty got him by the feet of the pants. He ain't going nowhere. Oh, a Ty just punched he Pretty just, boy laying in the head. He just punched him on top of the oh, head. Oh, my God, hey, what a chop. Jeez. Casey Kane is uh, up oh, and down in the thumb test. Good pretty boy leg. Oh, my God. Just look at him stuck in his arm. I'm sure they're stuck in his back, too. Oh, you they're know where they are. Yeah, you yeah, know look at him. Oh, well. goodness gracious. And now they have Casey Kane. Big, Big booted Big. to a side rushing leg sleep. Joe, what a cover. Right here. Two. Two. Three, ring the bell. The, my God, what a match that was, bro. Here are your winners. The team of Ty Tyson and no comparison, Joe Harrison. I tell you what, these two guys put up one hell of a fight. But yes, you've got they to give did. It up. You have got to give it up to the trendsetters. They put up a hell of a fight, too. Yes, was, they, they did. They put up much more of a fight than what I was expecting. I wasn't they, expecting them to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them either. But there were several times.